Hello, and welcome to my channel, Ace Angel Nails. I'm new to this game, new to nail art, new to doing nails, and I thought we could explore this adventure together. So, if you're here, welcome. New video, first video on the channel. Um, excuse my nails, <laughs> I'm letting them grow. So I'm going to put on some gloves and we're going to explore. these uh, nail polishes. Um, I've never used these kind before so it should be fun. I heard we're supposed to wear gloves because it's supposed to protect us from getting allergic to the nail polishes so I'm not taking no chances. I'm having too much fun playing. So what I did is I prepared the swatch sticks ahead of time we're going to try them out and then I'm going to top coat them and we'll see them at the end. So I bought these off of Amazon. They're the Ms. Heisey Nail Gel Polish. They're supposed to be magnetic. So we will bring you out a bit so we can see this. Right here should be, yep, we have a magnet. So that's to try that with. And we will see what we got in this little box. We get her open. I'm not going to be putting them back in the box. So, Maisie Professional UV Gel Polish MZ Black. Whoops. Sorry about that. Everything's new. I'm getting used to it. Um, then we have the MZ Heat Professional UV Gel Polish. Okay, you know what? I'm going to move this box out of the way so that we can look at the polishes. So, here's the black. Let's bring you a little bit closer. And maybe we should swatch as we're looking at them. That sounds like a good idea. I could cure them. Because I know I'm going to have to do all of them in this black. So maybe that's what I'll do. We'll do the swatches. We'll color them black right away. Sorry if I seem all over the place. I'm just really new to this. and quite nervous. So, whoops. One moment. I'll put you on pause. I want to put a silicone mat under my lamp. So it won't, it won't be long. There you go. Sorry, when I'm nervous I drop stuff and I don't want to ruin my nice map. Any tips and tricks that you have to help me with my journey are more than welcome. Please leave them in the comment, comment section below. Here we go. We have this one here, which is a black swatch, so that one we'll have to, won't have to put no more on. We'll do them all. Well, what I'll do is I will go away, come back when they're all colored black. I just wanted to show you doing one, so I'll get them all painted and then be back, cured, and then I'll be back. I just realized while I was uh, curing those that uh, I don't think I mentioned that they're magnetic cat size. Um, so we're going to try those out. I'm going to do them all on black, and then we can decide after if it's worthwhile to try them on clear or not. Um, first time I'm playing with them, so we shall see. I'm going to cure those ones and get these ones in the lamp, but while these ones are curing, we can start looking at the other ones, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so we have them all out, so let's see. We're going to start with the XHLSMY005, and it is a reddish, brownish color, bronzy color. I looked at the instructions to see how this works. I've never done it before. So, whoa, look at this color. And look at the sparkle. I think we could even wear it just as a normal sparkle a polish, like a glitter polish. So let's move this out of the way and see what we can do with the magnet. Does it do anything? I don't know. Does it seem to be doing anything? Well, I don't see anything. Let's see, put it this way. I don't know. Whoops, there I touched it. Of course it did. I don't know. Let's see. What does the instruction say? Because I'm probably doing something wrong. So let's see. Yep, yeah, it came with instructions. So, one, apply black color gel to the base, then cure. Okay, so I did that. Apply galaxy gel, do not cure. Use maggot to patch the. Push all cat's eye form from around to the middle, then cure. Okay. 
So let's put on some more polish and see what we can do. Maybe it's me who doesn't know what I'm doing. We shall see. That's very much a possibility, huh? Oh, I'm so new to this, I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's see. Let's see push it. Let's just push it. Push it. Push it. I don't know, it just seems like it's not doing anything. Is it? Maybe it's just me not doing it right. I don't know. Oh, I don't know, but it's a nice color. Let's see. Maybe I'm moving too fast? Is this even a magnet? Okay. Sticks on metal. Let's see if I hold it like this, will do something. I don't know. It just don't seem to be doing anything. Let's try cure it. I'll put on another coat and see what that does, because I don't know. Any hints or tips? Maybe it's just a dud batch. Who knows? Um, do you apply black gel? Galaxy gel? Use magnetic gel cat eye effect from top to bottom. Another one form below to the middle, then cure. Okay, let's see what we can do. I don't have any other magnets, so we have to try those ones. So I'm going to let that cure and then put another coat and see if I can't just do like a bar across them, maybe like on an angle, and see what that does. Because I don't know. I have no clue. If not, it's still pretty polished. I mean, I'll still wear it as a normal polish because it's so glittery. And I'll try it. You know what? I just realized. Let's grab another stick. Let's watch stick. I have a bunch of them right now. So let's grab one and try it. But just polish. Maybe the black isn't doing it justice. So we'll try both ways and see. Um, okay, let's try it this way. So grabbing the 005 XHL SMY 005. Okay, so it's not very opaque when there's no black on it. So let's see, what can we do? Do it like this, we'll move. I don't know, I think it's way too thin, so we'll cure that one. Leave it go. And then we'll grab this one and put some more on it. Give it another coat, a thin coat, and see if I can get it to do anything. If not, it might just be the color. Let's see, I'm going to try like this and see. Did I get it to do something? Oh, yeah, look, it's moving. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. It's not what I expected, but still pretty cool. And get it to move. So maybe I shouldn't have cured it the first time. Oh well. Okay. So shove that in there for another minute with that one. And we'll try another one and see if I have better luck. So that was 005. Um, the next one will be 007. Let's see what that one will do. Well, let's see what color it is too. Um, okay. Oh, it's really stuck. Whoa. Oh, silvery? Greeny? I don't know. Let's see. What does that look like? I really couldn't tell you. So, let's try here. Let's put it on the swatch stick and see what we can do. Oh, that's a pretty color. Oh, I hope this one works because it's really pretty. <laughs> so, let's see what we can do. Take the magnet. Just, I'm just going to try to do one line like that and see what... It, oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. Wow. That one's pretty. I'm curing it like that. So this one I wanted to try two coats. This one's cured. I couldn't get it to do very much, so we'll leave that one to the side for now. And then we'll give this one its second coat because I want to try this one with no color and see what we can do. That's the 005 and uh, see what a second coat if I could get it to do something on clear and then I'll decide if I should do a swatch clear and a swatch not clear let's just see if we can do this oh it does move a bit but I think it's a color honestly because I can't really get it to do much so we'll cure those ones and uh, 
we'll go keep looking at the other colors. What do you think? Because that green, greenish, goldish color was really nice. The 007. So the next one is 004. So let's see. Move this over. Let's see what color it is because I'm curious. I have no idea. I just opened it and wrote the names. So, oh, a dark purple maybe? It's really hard to tell. So we'll put it on a stick and see what it does. 004. But I think it's a purpley. Oh, yes, it is a purple, my favorite color. So, I don't know. I'll let the UV lamp finish because I want to see this effect really well. And it seems like the UV lamp is blocking so you can see the right color. But let's see what we can do with the magnet. Oh, yeah. I'm, the UV light is blocking it. So I'll move you out of the way. This is like a purpley, bluey gorgeousness. Look at that. You know what? I want to try this one with no um, no color. I may have to do them all with no color to see because seriously. Um, you know what? Let's just try it on the other stick. And then I can decide whether I want to um, do them. Well, yeah, it's a purpley color. Is it? Let move. Yeah, see, it doesn't really move much when it's not on the black. So I think I can keep going on the black. So let's get rid of this one and keep going. So we will go with the next color, which is the O2. Let's see what the O2 is. I know it's not in order, but. It's the fun of discovering, right? So, whoa, what color is this one? Let's see. I don't find it easy to figure out which colors they are um, straight out of the bottle. It's like the color appears when you put it on top of the black. I don't know if that's like that for all of these type of uh, nail polishes. Oh, this one, look at this. This one's working really good. I moved it too much, I think. Yeah, okay, so I'll put some more on it. And just try to get one line, maybe. This stuff is so pretty, but if you put too much, it disappears. Okay, so let's leave it like this. I mean, I'm not great at these cat eye things, but that's still pretty cool. And we'll keep going. And I'll cure them all at once. One moment, please. Okay, okay. So now we'll go with the 001, which is, I have no idea, so let's see, shall we? Um, I'm telling you, from the bottle, we just can't really tell. So, we shall see, whoop, the drop. Well, this one's pretty too. I mean, on top of something, these are beautiful. Let's see the cat's eye effect. Oh, that was pretty. Look at that. Oh, that one's so pretty. Okay, so we'll cure those ones and I'll be back because my light is not very big. So I'll cure them, put the top coat, and then I'll be back. Okay, so these are all cured. We'll put them to one side for now because we'll look at them all when they're completely, uh, when we're done, all the other ones as well. And, uh, Let's keep going. Let's see what the next color will be. Is the 003, which is, let's see, shall we? I cannot wait. Not that I can tell ahead of time. I think it's silver. I wish I had names because then it would give us an idea what color it is. Oh, but it's silver. And is it ever silver? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So let's see what we can do. It's a pinky color. I would have never thought that. Let's see. Oh yeah, like it's not great what I'm doing, but it still looks pretty. Like, oh yeah, that's the best one I did so far. So let's get this one in the light and get it ready to go. And let's see the rest. The next one shall be the 008, 
which is what color shall we say? Not that I could tell you ahead of time, but oh, my greeny color maybe. Yeah, I think it's a greeny color. So let me see if I'm right. Oh, like a turquoise color maybe. I don't find it's as clear as as yeah, it's green. It looks more bright on the screen on the camera than it does in real, but I think once it's cured and the magnet's done its job, it'll be uh, perfect. I make it disappear. Oh, I made it completely disappear. So I grab some more. I see this on the channel. You can reset it if you make it all disappear. <laughs> so let's see. This way. Um, can we get some to go down? More into the, yeah, like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's put that one in the lamp and leave that there. So, I mean, if I have the line, I want to do it proper, right? Okay. So the next one will be the 09. Which is, shall we say? Oh, it's stuck. Make sure I'm filming. Oh, gold maybe? Wouldn't that be awesome? A nice gold, and then we could get a nice gold line. Oh, bronze. This one's really like a bronze. More orangey than ready. Copper, maybe? I don't know. It's really pretty, whatever it is. So let's see what I can do. There we go. We have a line. Can we bring it down a bit, maybe? Okay. I'm okay with it being like that. Like, I mean, I can play with it more, but I just, I, right now it's just a swatch and to get an idea of what the colors are. Eventually I'll play with them. Let me put them on my nails. So the last one, and not the least one, let's get rid of this box, is the 006, which I'm kind of excited to see. Oh, this one's going to be a nice blue. I just knew it. I can see it already, the blue is going to be. Look at that. Oh yeah, that one's pretty. Let's see, can I get it to come down? I lost it. I'm good at losing them. <laughs> Is it because it's not a high quality product? I don't know, because it's my first time ever trying. I think it's more me that doesn't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm leaving it like that. I like that. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, does that one? Okay, so let's get the stuff in the light. I'll get the top coats and I'll be back to you. Okie dokie, so they're all cured. I used the Jodson top coat um, to put a top coat on it so I can keep them like this. So this is the 006. Nice. Uh, little blue. I don't know. I'm not very good at doing the magnet yet, but I think it's a pretty... Whoops, sorry. I'm not very good at doing the magnet yet, but I think it's a pretty nail color. Let's put that one like that. And then this here is the 008. Same thing. Gorgeous nail color. I mean, can you imagine? That's going to be so pretty. Even if it doesn't have the big thing. I'm not very good with the magnets, but like when it's sitting down we can really see it. Like look at this one. This one's gorgeous. The purpley pink color. And then the coppery orange. Just beautiful. This is just the black that they gave us to go under it. It's not the most opaque in one coat. This is a two coat. And it becomes very opaque. So it's a it's good black I guess. Here we have um, the 002, which is nice. This, unfortunately, I couldn't get to work, but it's still a very beautiful color. Um, and I have this one. It's like a magenta, purpley, galaxy-looking color. Like, even if I couldn't get the magnet to work very well on it, like, I mean, we see a little line, it's still, like, beautiful on the black. And here we go with the 001, and it's just beautiful. We get the, the nice diagonal from the magnet. I'm going to be getting more magnets so I can play with them and see what else we can do. But like, look at this gold, the yellow color, gorgeous. So that was the Ms. Heese 
um, Magnetic Soka Professional UV Gel Polish from Amazon. Gorgeous product. It's in a box that looks like this. And thank you for watching this video with me. I know it's a bit everywhere, so I've got work to do and lots to learn. So I hope you enjoy uh, coming along with me on this journey. So thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.